Hey, Robo's making a building tutorial for once. Oh my gosh, it's a miracle. So, in this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how to make force field material. This is not easy to understand at the first, at first point, but after you see what I do and if you replicate it right, it's pretty easy. So, if you haven't seen any of my other tutorials and you want to learn how to build, there's going to be a playlist at the top right corner. Watch that playlist or watch the first video at the top right corner. That will help you learn how to build in Roblox Studio, excuse me, and it'll give you the tools that I use in Studio. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first things first, let's go ahead and enter the cube. I'm going to make it one by one by one. I'm going to make it fairly small. Now with this cube, what I recommend doing is I recommend, you know, just positioning it a little bit. I'm, I'm, I'm a neat freak like that. I'm going to just go ahead and do this. There we go. So with this, we can go ahead and look in our properties tab. And I'm assuming you guys already know how to use studio. So if you don't make sure you watch the top right corner video guys, trust me, it'll help you. I'm going to affect this and make this the force field material. It's a new material that came out, I think a month ago or maybe more. We're going to make it a material that's force field. And then we're going to insert object, right mouse click on the object, then insert object, special mesh. You can also right mouse click here, insert object and special mesh at the top. Now with this mesh, I'm going to make it a cube. I'm gonna make it a simple brick. There we go. I'm gonna make it a brick. Actually, I think it's a file mesh for this one. We're gonna make it a file mesh for now. Then what we want to do, actually, I think it is brick actually. Let me go ahead and do this. If you look right here, it looks like a pretty normal force field. The way to edit the color of it, you do not edit the color by doing this. This is not how you do it, guys. This is not gonna affect it. What you wanna do is you wanna get a texture. Now this texture, is probably gonna have to look different from what you're used to. It's not gonna be like some solid block. And force fields, I don't completely understand them myself, but I'm going to teach you how to do it so that you can help, I can help you understand it and stuff like that. Now, if I go to my images, I can look right here. I have some images right here that I uploaded to test with. If you look at this force field texture, I can right mouse click on it and copy the asset ID and I'll just insert it right here so you can see what it looks like. It looks fairly weird, doesn't it? But if I were to insert it inside as a texture ID for this mesh, look at the mesh now as things form around it this is pretty cool is it not i think it's pretty cool this looks like a force field now the thing is now that i've done this i'm pretty sure you cannot edit the color by doing any of this notice how it's not red it's actually white so to edit the color you click on the mesh you go to vertex color and then you make one comma zero comma zero this is what affects the color now the vertex color, I'm not the best at vertex colors, but what I do know is that it goes red, green, and then blue, I believe. So if I were to make this, oh, excuse me, if I were to make this one, it would be a green cube. And if I were to do the exact opposite of that, and I'll make the last one one, it'd be a blue cube. And if I were to add even more blue, it'd make it even more blue, more bright blue. But if I were to add other values like two green, two red, notice how it just makes it white. So you have to make all the other ones less than one in order for it to affect it and make it a different color, as you can see. But not everything can be over one. And notice how I made it 0.5. It's kind of like a purple tint. This is what I've been making on stream. If you don't know, I've been streaming recently and I've been streaming development for my secret project. Blah, blah, blah. If you guys want to check it out, I'll be streaming probably today as this video comes out or before this video comes out, you know. Now, I'm going to insert the sine wave. This is another thing that you can do. Copy the asset ID, go into here, and you edit the texture, stuff like that. Now, I'm also going to teach you how to make these textures and find them online. Now, if you look right here, notice how it kind of looks like the image. Basically, what force fields do is it takes the images, and I what I believe it does is it takes the light and darks of the image, and then it just converts it into a material. And notice how, if I look right here, everything flashed, everything that's bright is flashing fast. Everything that's dark is what flashes slowly. Now this is some builder talk, but if you know what I mean, you know what I mean. And I could just do it with the other materials as well, but first I'd rather teach you how to do this. So if you have paint.net, I recommend opening that right now. Let's go ahead and open it over here. That's my editing software, by the way. I recommend making a new file, 420 by 420 or 840 by 840. That's the basic Roblox decal sizes that are best. Let's go ahead and do this. I'm gonna delete everything. Now I'm gonna, for now, I'm gonna make my colors orange and it'll do purple. Then I'm going to go to effects. Now, I don't know if you have to get this through a download or a plugin or not, but I go to clouds and notice how I can make the roughness a certain roughness and a certain smoothness. I'm going to play around. I'm going to make it like this. Okay. For now, we're going to make it like this. And then we are going to save this. We're going to save it as texture test. There we go. Texture test. 
then I'm gonna go ahead and upload this to Roblox. So if I were to go ahead and upload this to Roblox right here, we can go to my decals, my images, my decals, and we can upload it into the Roblox. And when you upload it, you can copy the asset ID, of course. Okay, so I took the time to upload the images. Let me go ahead and refresh right here. Wham, bam, thank you, my am. We're gonna go ahead and do this and also copy the ID. Notice how Roblox didn't render it yet either. I to do this and then open it and go to mesh and edit the texture ID. Notice how it looks just like the image. It's just not colored right there. We can see the lights and darks and everything. Go ahead and delete all these images right there. You see now look at the difference between the two. If I to look at it, you can see that the corner isn't appearing because it's like a darker value. So then all the lighter values and then there's lighter values right there are the ones that flash and you'll see the darker values coming in and disappearing slowly. It's very complex, but if you are a builder or a scripter, you'll kind of understand what I mean. You can play around with this material, but also keep in mind, if you try to resize it, it is not going to work. You'll notice how it doesn't resize with it. It's because of the special mesh. Because of the special mesh, it looks like this. Now, another thing you can also do, you can go to, you know, meshes, get a free mesh. Like, I'll probably get, like, maybe a sounds head or something like that. Let me go ahead and get a free mesh in here. And if I were to copy the mesh ID from here, and then, excuse me, duplicate it and paste it in to the mesh here. I have the file mesh and I put it in there. Look at my sans head. It is now a force field sans head. Look at that. That is a beautiful, don't you think? I think it is. Let me go ahead and copy the texture from this. Texture from this. We're gonna insert it into this. Bam, look at that. It looks different. And now you know exactly what I mean. This all depends on the special mesh. You have to use a special mesh, but you can put mesh IDs into it because I made it a file mesh and so on. You can go ahead and do that. So if this tutorial helped you, I recommend watching it to the end. Now in each tutorial, tutorial, excuse me, I give you guys a homework assignment. My homework assignment for you is to learn how to upload a texture on Roblox and then also make a force field like I did. If you have any questions, make sure you ask them. I will also show you how to do it on stream. I'll be streaming today when this video comes out or before this video comes out or after this video comes out. I don't know exactly when this video is coming out, but I will be streaming development and you guys will be able to see me using the force field material. But that is pretty much it. Remember the homework? Excuse me. Homework is gonna be uploading a decal and then making the force field and then mentioning me on Twitter at Roball01. Let me show you my Twitter real quick. Mentioning me on Twitter at Roball01 is the best bet for me to notice you. This is part of my summer internship project. You can see a sneak peek right here. I think it looks pretty sexy. But anyways, if you guys wanna see more stuff, make sure you follow me and follow my partner, Lord Zenkai on Twitter and mention me on Twitter or DM me on Twitter with what you've done for the homework. I really wanna see what you've done. So make sure you do that. Another thing I'm gonna teach you is the texture for it. I'm gonna teach you real quick how to get the texture online if you wanna get that. Cloud, I think cloud pattern is what you could look up. Basically any pattern that repeats itself, you could do anything like that. You could do this, you could do this. Like I'll even do this, watch. I'll save this and we'll upload this real quick and see what it looks like, okay? Let me go ahead and upload this, blah, blah, blah. Oh, not a good idea. <laughs> Let me upload this real quick. All right, so I uploaded the texture and you can see that it looks like the clouds. It looks almost exactly like the clouds, which is pretty freaking cool. And I think it's really cool. But if you guys want to play around with it, I think what it does is it plays around with the light and dark values of the image. So if everything's the same color, like maybe two differences with like black and white, maybe that'll help your image look better with these sudden flashes and stuff like that. Maybe you can learn to control it. If you learn how to use this thing better than I do force fields, I highly recommend tweeting at me, maybe making a image tutorial or a video tutorial and messaging it to me on Twitter and stuff like that. My Twitter DMs are always open if you want to talk to me. Usually I don't respond to people, but if it's a response that like I think needs a response or a message that I think needs a response, I will respond. I just get a lot of trolls, that's why. I just don't respond to the trolls. But hopefully you guys did enjoy this tutorial. I hope it was very helpful. If there's any questions, comment them down below. And then in the next building tutorial, if you guys have any ideas for that, comment it down below, please, because I'm pretty low on ideas for building tutorials. I might just make a you know game diving tutorial series where I just teach you how to make games and stuff like that and how to get started and everything. And then you can just give me credit in the future. We're like, hey, thanks, Robot. I appreciate it because you view on the front. I'm on the front page and stuff like that. But yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, go ahead and leave a like on the video. Also, subscribe if you're new. I would really appreciate it if you did. We're almost to 100K subscribers. I'm trying to get to 100K very soon. But hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, leave a like on the video. Subscribe if you're new. If you have any questions, comment them down below. I'll try to respond to most of them. Till then, it's been your man, Robo. I'm signing out now. See you all in the next video. Take care, everybody.